Hey, Anna, your business trip is until the day after tomorrow, right? Yup. Can I enter your room with a spare key tomorrow? What? Why? I think I forgot something there the last time I visited. I thought I should ask you for my permission, even if you are my fiance. Can I go in and find out? Can't you wait until I get home? I see. I want to use it tomorrow. That's a point of conversation, you know? I see. Then I guess it can't be helped. I understand, but don't touch the drawer with my dresses, all right? Okay, uh, the one with the dresses your late mother gave you, right? Well, I've never touched that drawer, so there's no way what I'm looking for is there. <laughs> I guess so. Sorry, I have to do this while you're away. I'll take care not to make a mess. Okay, thanks. Um, Nick? There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Sorry if it sounds like I'm doubting you, but... Do you know anything about what happened to the drawer with my dresses? Why? One of the dresses is gone. What? It disappeared at the same time the lock broke. Maybe you're just imagining things. There are a lot, right? And you don't even wear them often. I take them out every once in a while for maintenance. So I know the pattern of every dress, and I'd notice immediately if one of them disappeared. Oh, really? Do you know anything? Well, not really. I never touched that drawer. I see. Then I better call the police since it might be a burglary. The police? I'm going to check the video on the intercom system later as well. Video? Yep. It's a new model that starts recording whenever it detects someone unusual. Isn't that going too far? You've got plenty of dresses, right? Losing one should be fine. That dress is irreplaceable! It was given to me by my mother, which is why I checked the intercom system as soon as I noticed it was gone! What? Give me my mother's dress back! Well, um... Now! Shit. Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm the one who took the dress. Lauren's the one who has it. What? Who's Lauren? My ex-girlfriend. I lent her the dress. Why? She said she needed a dress, so... That's not what I meant. Why are you still in contact with your ex-girlfriend? And why would you just give her my dress? She should buy her own if she needs one that badly. Besides, you knew those were my mother's dresses. They're one of my only things I have left of her. You should know that they're important to me. Well, um, she'll probably give it back sooner or later. I'm telling you to give it back right now. Call this Lauren immediately. Just give up already. What? Are you telling me to just give up the dress? I mean, she's probably cut the dress by now. She what? Do you know that dresses like that look better if you're shorter? Lauren's 152 centimeters tall, so she had to cut it so it would fit her. Huh? She'll ruin the dress if she cuts it. Lauren's good with her hands, so she should be able to do it. <laughs> you're 170 centimeters tall, right? You won't be able to wear it anymore, so just give it to her. <laughs> it's not gonna fit even if she gives it back. That's not the problem. I'm telling you that's my mother's dress. I'm not even that tall. She's only two centimeters shorter than me, so there's no reason for her to cut the dress. What? Cutting someone else's dress is wrong in the first place. Just what are you thinking? Well, if that's the case, Lauren can have the dress, right? Huh? Are you being serious? But it can't be helped, right? She's already cut it. Fine, then pay me $105,000. What? $105,000? What joke is this? It doesn't matter how mad you are, that amount is just... <laughs> what? My mother's dresses mostly cost around $700 to $2,000. But the dress you stole was made by a famous fashion designer, so it's way more expensive than the others. Oh. <laughs> Taking any of the dresses would have been bad enough. 
but to think you took the one that cost $105,000. What? This is a joke, right? You just try to scare me, right? Oh, I get it. This is one of those pranks. I wish it was a joke. I've told you this over and over, but that dress was given to me by my mother. There's no way I would be able to joke about it. So that means that... Just contact this Lauren for me, will you? I'm not just going to ignore this. Long time no see, Anna. Is now a good time? What? Is this Maria? We haven't talked since the high school reunion, right? What's wrong? You see, my sister has one of the dresses your mother gave you. What? You know, when your mother showed me her collection when I told her I was interested in making dresses? My sister has the one she said was made by a famous fashion designer right now. Are you sure? I compared it with the picture I took that time, so I'm pretty sure. My sister says an acquaintance of hers gave it to her, but this dress is a remembrance from your mother, right? I thought there was no way you'd just give it to someone. Is your sister named Lauren? Uh, yeah. You've met my sister before? No. I'll explain it to you later. But for now, can you tell me in what state the dress is in? It looks fine on me. What about the skirt length? Does it look like it was cut or anything? What? The skirt length? I'll check right now. Hold on. I'm back. I spread the dress out and looked at it carefully, but it seems fine. Really? I asked my sister as well, and she says she hasn't made any modifications. Thank God. My sister says a strange customer forced her to take it. What? A customer? You see, my sister works as a prostitute under the alias Silva. One of the customers saw her driver's license and found out her real name. Apparently, this customer suddenly gave her a dress out of nowhere. My sister got scared and told me about it when she took it home and examined it, since it looked really expensive. And that's when you noticed it was my mother's dress? Yep. My sister says she wants to give it back as soon as she finds out who the owner is. It's fine if she returns it to you, right? You should probably come over and take a look at it, just in case. Of course, I'll go there right now. That's probably a good idea. There's something I want to ask your sister as well. Hey, Anna, what do you mean the wedding's canceled? And what's this about alimony? What are you thinking? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Huh? I met with Lauren. What? Why? It was a coincidence, but it seems that Lauren was my friend's sister. Uh... You understand why I'm canceling the marriage and suing you if I tell you that I heard everything from her, right? Well, um... Lauren isn't even your ex-girlfriend. She's just a prostitute you paid for. And apparently you're asking her to go out with you, even though we're engaged? No, that's not a... I was just trying to please her, you know? By sacrificing my mother's dress. What do you mean sacrificing? You're being too dramatic. Besides, it's not even the kind of dress she wanted. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? She wanted a dress to wear at ceremonies, not a dress for parties. What? Really? I thought all dresses were the same. Which is why you were able to just take my mother's dress that cost $105,000. Well, um, I don't have $105,000. Thankfully, the dress was intact. What? Lauren has some knowledge about dresses thanks to her sister, who's a designer. Which is why she noticed that the dress you gave her was expensive and not the type she wanted. What, so the dress was fine? Then isn't there no need to cancel the marriage? You were just threatening me. What are you talking about? Of course I'm canceling the marriage. What, why? 
for touching the drawer I specifically told you not to touch, and for approaching another woman while you were engaged to me. I think there's plenty of reason for me to cancel the marriage, no? Uh, That's not it. You borrowed $20,000 from my grandmother as money for the wedding, right? Huh? This was around the same time you gave Lauren some expensive wine for her birthday, right? This can't be a coincidence. No, I... Uh, did I really borrow that much? Stop trying to bluff. My grandmother does have Alzheimer's, but her condition is not that serious, and there's a video of you asking for money. What, a video? I set up a camera so I can check on her. You were recorded clearly on camera, and there's even audio. You won't be able to get off of this. Really? Damn. That being said, the marriage is canceled. Hold on. The wedding's only a month away. You kid. Take care of the cancellation fees, okay? Huh? You'll probably have to pay 50% if it's only a month away. About $12,000, right? I said wait! I don't have any more money! I use it at the brothel! Do you want me to call the police and report your theft? The police? Well then, a lawyer will take care of things from now. I'm going to block you now. Apparently, Nick came to my apartment the next day, but I had already canceled the contract and went to my parents' house. He didn't know and tried to get in with a spare key, but couldn't, so he kept pounding on the door, it seems. He was reported by the neighbors and was arrested. The company he works at found out about this, and soon everyone also found out about why the wedding was canceled. Nick couldn't bear everyone judging him, so he quit. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to sue him. Apparently his parents are going to pay for it for now, but we'll get the money from him later. He now works several part-time jobs and works day to night with no time to rest. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.